begin. What do I need to change in my process when I switch to a VOC-free Waveflux? Well, it's important to recognize that one of the big differences between VOC and non-VOC fluxes is the base. For example, non-VOC fluxes are alcohol-based versus VOC-free fluxes are water-based. And hence, one of the things we're trying to accomplish in the preheat is that we have to go above the boiling temperature of the base of the flux. So as an example, in non-VOC free, we're talking 90 degrees centigrade, whereas for VOC free, we typically want to attain about 110 degrees centigrade. What happens if I have an insufficient preheat? If we don't attain the proper preheat temperature, we're going to get all kinds of undesired side effects. And this could include splattering, solder balls, insufficiency, things along those lines. And this applies to both wave soldering and selective soldering. 